it was a good time for you at UFC 198, Chris, and a, a lot of people were excited. It was people were more excited even than the title fight with Fabricio and Stipe. And how did it feel just to fight at home and then win in 81 seconds? You know, I felt very blessed for this opportunity to fight, you know, in Curitiba, my city. And, you know, something really special. I think because everyone go watch this fight, then then wait for this 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 this, this opportunity coming. You know, everybody everybody follow my career, want to watch me in UFC. And then, and then follow me. And in my city, have a lot of people follow me because I fight a lot of times in my, in my city. And if people see this and if people know and and I think everybody waits for this and you know and everybody uh, wishes I'll be UFC and when I did my first fight in Curitiba, Brazil, I think that, that the dreams come true. And you know, you hit. I remember you you said something to me and I was looking at our notes from our first conversation and you said if you didn't fight in the U after this fight, if you didn't fight in UFC again, you would have been good, you would have been okay, life would have went on. Did you still feel that way even going into this fight? I know there was rumblings at one time you were supposed to fight in Atlanta. That didn't happen. And then even there was rumblings about this fight. Maybe it wouldn't occur, and now it is taking place. But was it still true if you had never fought in the UFC again? Would you have been okay with that? You know, something uh, Something I think, you know, before I fight in the before, everybody know about my name already. You know, everybody appreciate my fight. It doesn't matter where I fight. I think if I do one event in parking lot, I say, man, I want to fight there. I think you know, people gonna go go and watch. And uh, you know, and I think you know, of course, I love five UFC, and then I don't make plan. You know, same in my last fight. I said, man, I, well, don't I say the last fight first in the last one on forty, and then I had the opportunity again, and you know, I keep training and I get this opportunity, and I will thank you for for the main event. But you know something, I really don't worry about this. I, I know if you, I'll be know or see one day. I know I have a lot of opportunities for me fighting. You know, and you know I just be in UFC now. You know, but I my career it's eleven years career, and I fight Elite C, Strike Force, a World Champion Victor, World Champion Strike Force. You know, I I fight Muay Thai. If you put me in fight wrestling, I will. You know, if I fight boxing, I will. Maybe I can fight the girl want to fight me, have one world champ girl, she say want to fight me. And yeah, I have this opportunity too, you know. And I have a lot of things, you know. I, 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 you know, I, just, I just have to keep training, keep learning. And, and I know the opportunity come true. This is something I don't worry. If you do work, work hard, discipline, I know you, God bless you. Do anyways, you know, anyways, if you keep it serious, what are you doing? Were you surprised that this fight was when you were approached about this fight with Lena? Were you surprised it was a main event fight? Uh, you know, I really don't think don't think about like ah, I fight a main event. I don't think you know. I train all my camp. It's for me. It's normal fight, and then but you know for my head. But for you know, I'm really happy for us to give this opportunity. I think everybody in Brazil and my fans, I'm really thankful for them because they appreciate my last fight. And it, this is like the seeds and the fruit come for me with the event. Now, a lot has been made. You know, it started yesterday with your weight cut, and you were on uh, Area Hawani's MMA Hour, and then it was you were weighing 165, and then. He sent out a tweet this morning saying you are at 160 pounds. Before we even get into weight, how are you feeling right now? Uh, right now I I am trying getting I'm being focused, you know, for for the fight, and then you, you know I, you know for me hours is no easy, you know hours hard, you know it's it's I let my mind struggle all the time. I'm gonna fight and they have to go to menu weight. Doesn't matter if you just move 140 or 145. I know it's always the worst. You know, the first fight for me is make weight and after the real fight. And then, man, my mind, my mind's strong, you know. You know, fighters never give up and keep going, you know. doesn't matter, you know. Uh, doesn't matter what's going on. You keep going, you keep, you keep hard work. And, yeah, I, I, you know, I believe my team. You know, I have to believe. And sometimes I really believe. I believe in God. And I, I know he, you'll be okay. Everything will be happening. You'll be, you I, watched, I watched the video about... Watch the video about an hour ago. And the video was awesome, by the way. The video you and your team came up with is, it was absolutely fantastic. I really loved the video. And it's gotten great reviews already. 
you were arguing with George, and there was it seemed like there was a really a butting of the heads there. It really seemed like. And is everything okay now with you and George? You didn't seem on board with what he was trying to do. Is everything okay now with you and George Lockhart? You know, it's every, everything okay, you know, but I, I I don't agree. I don't agree, but it's true. It's everything again. We start the camp, we go into the camp, you know, and but I, I don't agree. But but we we are team, you know. We are team, and he part family. We look like the family, but you know, I don't agree. And then we just conversation, and he's explaining his point, and let it go, you know. I think you have to keep going. Now. The question that a lot of people do want to know is, what do you weigh right now? Is everything, is it below, is, are you at 160 still or are you below that? Not below that. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm losing a little bit. I lose a strain yesterday and I below the last, the last day too. And, you know, uh, I, of course, I'm not staying away from my last fight, but I'm at the same day, but I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I think it'll be okay. Do you think people are making too much about this? You know, just because it seems like more people care about your weight than they do about the actual fight. It seems like everyone already knows, okay, we already have a feeling what Chris is going to do. Everyone seems more concerned about how your weight cut's going. Does that bother you at all that more people are talking about this right now than the actual fight coming up on Saturday? You know, uh, now okay. People say just about me, but you know, all the fighters have same same problem, same thing. You know, and then for me, it's the worst because now I'm a category and you know, fifty five. You know, but you know, everybody, you pick the the, the the way to you are. You know, and for the fight, but uh, I think this is the life. The all the all the fighters, not just me. You know, and but it's good because the the fans can see the reality. You know, not just to see you inside octagon. It's, uh, then watch what's behind saying, you know, watch you, your train, you watch when you eat, you watch when you have to cut it. It's really sacrifice, you know, but we love what to do, but, you know, it's, it's not just go over the next time and fight. It's nothing just this. Now, I thought, some, you know, I thought some good news yesterday. I was, you know, doing, doing some reading, and Dana White had said that he wants to make this fight now with you and Ronda. It, it seems like finally, I don't know, something clicked in Dana's head, and now he's he's on board with you and Ronda fighting. Where before you had said some words where, and he said some words where it looked like it would never happen. And I don't know if you saw those comments, but how does that feel now that your boss is on board of making the fight the MMA world wants to see? Uh, I believe it. I, mean, I don't think Dan White decide I fight Ronda tomorrow in the interview. I think this is a way to come and plan. Because then try I, I go to 135, then see I cannot go 35, then make 140, and if I 140, I think this plan already, already then then plan, you know, fight Ronda. Everybody want to watch this fight, and then then just have time for see if I can make 135, and then I'll know that I cannot, and have, of course if I fight Ronda has to be super fight, and then and, and you know and then, then Ronda after she's lose, you know, I surprise everybody, and then now I have to let's see if she's coming back. And of course, man, I'm open for do super fight. And of course, this fight, all the fans want to watch. But I don't think this plan, like, ah, okay, she's wake up today. He woke up today. Say, okay, I want to be cyber and Ronda. No, I think this plan, I'm adding his head. But you know, because we work on. I mean, work my ass on three years. You know, for try drop drop the weight. There's no no one camp. You know, it's a long time. Two more questions, Chris, and thank you for your time today. It's always greatly appreciated. And. Do you want that fight to still happen? I know the world wants to see it. It seems like Dana White wants to see it. We don't know if Ronda wants to see it, but I am talking to you. And do you want that fight to still happen? I know you did for the longest time, and you really didn't care when we talked in May. You you were still indifferent about it. If it ha you were like, if it happens, it happens. Are you still you on know, it, or this, do you want that fight? You know, for, yeah, you know, for this fight happening, he had a lot of things to do, and... Of course, I know. I know. Choose my opponent. You know, I, I'm a fighter. I like fight, and then this is my job. And of course, if the match it happen, uh, I want to do. And something I think it, this fight will be amazing for women's MMA. And then I don't just fight, fight for my name. You know, I fight for all the women's MMA. I think if your fight happen, growing more. You know, maybe have the opportunity to have more division, open the door for all the girls. 
And this is my goal. You know, it's not my goal just think by myself. Yeah, my goal is open the door for all the women and it should be more respect to women and women may make. And how do you win on Saturday night? You know, I train really hard and I prepare for five rounds and then and, and uh, you know, I have to be ready for any situation. Everybody know what I like to do and everybody know I like KO and of course I I I, I will follow I will keep my game, you know. I keep my game in the all my fight. A lot of people say it. A lot of people think it. Are you the Are you the best female fighter in the world? You know, I I, I, I you you never hear I say this. I never say I'm the best fighter in the world. Uh, I think this is uh, this is no this, this is no me if I say this. You know, I like to hear people say this because when I go over there, I know I try my best, and I like to hear my fans if they then appreciate my work and then like my job. I leave my fans say this you know me you know i think it'd be if they say this man i would lose losing you know i think i have a lot of things to learn and uh, and i learn every day and then i live in my sense say this you know i think i just go over there do my best 